It's a beautiful place to ride. This is the Desert Wildlife Refuge, U.S. Fish and Wildlife. So my last bike, I had a Kawasaki KLR 650 and I sold that, had it for about a year, ended up selling it and going with a lighter, more nimble 450 RL. The reason why I got rid of that bike is it was just too heavy for the trails for me. I just didn't like it. Really had uh, really moved around in the in the deep gravel, sand. It was hard to recover. It was a lot heavier to pick up when I dropped it. But this bike, man, this bike is wet is less than 300 pounds i think it was 290. so already i'm feeling a big difference in the handling um, this engine is a lot more responsive i got the i put the g2 throttle tamer on here and that helped a lot the throttle was real uh, twitchy when i first got it i put the throttle tamer on and I was going to do the Vortex, but I decided not to because the throttle tamer helped a whole lot where I didn't have to put that Vortex on and spend another $1,000. And uh, the suspension on this bike, everything's pretty much the same as the 450R, the racing bike. It's got the same suspension, got the same engine, just detuned. I mean, this bike is, this suspension is great. Pretty much sopping up everything I'm, I'm running over. I mean, off-road, this is, uh, this is a joy to ride. It's way better than the KLR off-road. I, I have to say, on road, the KLR is a much better. I mean, this uh, this vibrates a lot when I'm uh, above 65. Especially at 70, there's a lot of vibration. I notice on the highway, a lot of vibration up and through my hands. I put these uh, grip puppies on and they're helping a little bit, but I'm gonna be riding this mostly off-road. Pretty much just taking the highway to my next destination, my next trail. So I prefer the handling off-road because that's where I'm going to drop the bike. And that's where I prefer this uh, Honda over the KLR 650. But so far, man, it's handling really good off-road. It's got great power. You know, I am slipping around a little bit, not as much as the KLR, but recovering the bike after the front or the back slips out on this loose stuff is a hundred times better than on that KLR. That KLR is just, it, it's way too heavy. Probably most of it is because of the gas tank. It's a six gallon tank, but I did upgrade my gas tank on this bike I put the three gallon IMS on here just to give me the the distance I've been averaging about 55 miles a gallon on this bike 
So, I mean, it's going to get me a good distance. Plus, you know, if I go on a longer trail, I bought that uh, Giant Loop gas bag. So, that should give me a good 200 miles or close to it of fuel. That way I can reach my next destination and fuel up. Well, this is just a short ride today, so I'm not going to need that fuel bag. Um, I had some uh, Giant Loop Mojave bags, saddle bags. On, my ba on the back, I got the... Got the Giant Loop Buck and Roll tank bag. Uh, I put a, a rear fender rack. And that's it. That's all I added. I'm not gonna do any, uh, any modifications to the bike. I'm not gonna do any ECUs. This bike has more than enough power for me or the average person. Um, I saw some guys on YouTube online and they got the bike up to a hundred on the highway I'm kind of heavy I'm kind of a big guy I'm 6'4 240 and uh, the bike still has a lot of power like I said the the thing I like the most about this bike or the the addition that I added is the throttle tamer the G2 throttle tamer it's just it smoothed everything out smoothed everything out for me as far as the throttles concerned uh, the fuel injection to where I don't have to put uh, another ECU you know to tame the bike because those ECUs and they are they're not uh they're not cheap there we go we're getting some good riding in got Gary on that uh husky 501 FE in front of me Got some bruise from somebody. Brandon's up there, he's riding good on that 300 l Sopping up the trail. Troy's actually doing a lot better than, than I expected on that little bike. A great bike to learn on. deep gravel back there that was a deep patch of gravel looked like a foot of gravel back there I'm surprised how well uh, Troy's Honda 150 is handling this section out for a few hours Ooh, Brandon almost ate it right there
gravel back there was deep. Handling like a chip. Hope I don't wreck. Being all cocky. Oh, nice. Ooh. Suspension is awesome, man. Some good suspension. These front forks, woo! Probably need, need a little tuning, but I just don't know how to tune it. Oh, nice. Woo. Suspension is awesome, man. Some good suspension. These front forks. These front forks, woo! Probably need, need a little tuning, but I just don't know how to tune it. Twisty. Careful there, some loose rock. Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Ah, that's a good bike, man. So happy I got this bike. Oh, the rocky right there. Throttle. Some torque. That was a big dip. Probably can't see it on the camera, but that was a big dip. That valley. Well, this might be the end of the video. Thanks for coming along and watching. See you again on the next one. Vegas Ranger out. Troy, turn around.